Let yeah. your kid, let your kid fall. Let your kid do some dangerous shit. Mm -hmm. Let him climb a roof. Let him hop a fence. Let him get on a bike. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about why it's great that I have a dwarf kid because I know the limits. Yeah. Like, I like because stairs. I'll, yeah, <laughs> that's the limits. <laughs> Guys, if you don't laugh, I'm just being Dead. mean. No, she, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she climbs the stairs. She has she has a spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Comic spit take. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that th this is one of the biggest accomplishments yeah. of my life. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I got three autistic kids <laughs> there and then none of them got me a napkin. They're just watching <laughs> somebody get up. That's so cool. You have a whole special needs stuff. I I've been there. <laughs> yeah, try it's very, it's very try, nice. Try getting eye contact. <laughs> But man, if, if if you need to know how many pencils are in a jar, they are on that. Oh, they know they can count. Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome everybody to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW dude podcast. YKW is back again. Old school. Back in the day, where it all started. Before them all. YKW. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up! You're ruining this. First of all, damn it, man. I'm sorry. It's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. And we're back. It's Robert Kelly's. You know what, dude? Coming from you live, coming to you live, not from you live, to you live. I've done around nine hours of Dead. broadcasting today. And here I am over the Comedy Cellar at the Comedy Cellar Studios, formerly known as the Laugh Button Studios, formerly known as the Riot Cast Studios. And that's all dead because that's where podcasting is going. But not this show. This show is going about to rise up like a phoenix. From the ashes of my own shit, and you're going to help me do it by hitting that subscribe button. Subscribe. Just do it. Just subscribe. Subscribe. It costs nothing. It's free. Helps the show out. Like the show. Comment. Get in there. Mix it up. I'd appreciate that very much. And go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly if you want to become a member of the Patreon and support the show and help out that way. Love all you ladybugs that are there right now. So uh, you guys are watching live. And what do you get with the Patreon? You get to watch it live when we do it right now. They're live in the chat talking. Dead. You get the show before anybody else. Download it to video everything to you. You get an extra show every week. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Go to comicwearables.com for all your merch. We got all kinds of merch. And you know what? Use code word ladybug because you get 20% off everything. Now all that bull is out of the way. I know. Dude, what the f*** that mean? Enough with the sales pitch. Suck my... Can't say it because it's the first 10 minutes of YouTube and they'll boot me and demonetize me. We got a great... I think I spit on the microphone. We have a great guest today. I'm very excited. Um, we've known each other for a long time. And we became friends. I really think we became friend friends in Montreal. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one of my son's favorite people uh, and comic. Um and uh, uh, just an all around sweet, hilarious, beautiful human being. Give it up, everybody, for we got Brad Williams. Yes, Dead. Max. Was I supposed to say my name? No, he's supposed to say it. Oh, okay. but he's always a f Dead. second off or forgets. Ah, well, uh, I'm I'm happy that uh, I'm glad your son's doing well. I I. We I bonded with your son in Montreal too. He was yeah. backstage all the time, yeah, and uh, just a good dude. And uh, you were just a nice guy to him. Well, I mean, he was nice to me. He like, didn't do like the typical. I'm so sorry. What's that? What are you stopping? No, nah, I got Here, I got this for you. Here you go. What? Oh, it, is this a doggy bed? No, just, just <laughs> you want to sit on it. Just get a little height. Just... No, look at this. I'm I'm the same height as you. Oh, okay. You sure? Dwar dwarfism. You want to sit on? No, I don't want to sit on it. All right. I got I got an average size torso. What were you gonna say? I apologize. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? <laughs> what are you gonna say? I was I, I was just gonna say it's nice to know that uh, your son's a fan. So in yeah, you know, eleven years when he could start when he, when he could start going to comedy clubs, I'll still have a career. He's dead. I love you, dude. Hey, yeah. Where's the coffee, man? Did you want a coffee? No. 
Did you get a coffee? I don't think I did. We all get, everybody gets a f- dead drink. I want my coffee. Um, <laughs> please. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we're doing bits. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, Salut, huh? Thank- a little Ted last Yeah. Time. Down, th- Ted. Oh, yeah, th- th- thanks for getting me the keg. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, don't drink that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I just trust you like it wasn't going to be fucking. We're doing bits. It was gonna be paint thinner. There's your drink, baby. That. Come on, we gotta have a little fun. Where'd you even find a cup that small? That's so great. <laughs> it's actually there's a um, littlepeople.com slash how do you, cup. How do you know about this? Is, is this like the Stanley Cup for dwarves? <laughs> Are we riding for this cup? Are we knocking over soccer moms and Target to get these off the bottom shelves? Uh buddy, it, you know what's crazy is since I've my kid fell in love with you. Yeah. And I remember looking over, you know, because I brought my kid to, I always would bring him to Montreal. And people are always nice. Comics are always nice. But yeah. you do, you came over and just talked to him. Yeah. You would just say, hey, what's up, Max? And you, would ha- you wouldn't just go, hi, Max. Comics are afraid of kids. They don't want to sure. deal with the responsibility. Mm-hmm. It, it, it can, you know, a lot of comics, it, oh, my God, I don't have one. I'm never going to have one. I should have one. Should I? Yeah. Get it away from me. You would have walked up and said, what's up, man? How you doing? And just talk to him. And my yeah. kid's very social. Yeah. So he just talked to you. And every night he'd be like, right. can I go see Brad? Where's Brad? Where is he? He would always want to hang yeah. out with you. Yeah. Well, he, it, it, that and he didn't do he didn't do the kid thing that a lot of kids do to me where they're just like, so like, are you a man or what? Yeah. Because <laughs> like, uh, so I, my daughter, she's four. She started going to preschool. And like when I drop her off. Oh. oh my God! Really? It's a nightmare for me. What, what do they do? It's a fucking gamut. Just to, uh, so sorry. Can I curse? Because the first ten minutes. Dead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just don't say the c word. God. Oh, please don't say the n word. Oh. Oh no. I don't. It. It's after eight. I don't say it after. Okay. Eight. After eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have four. The, I have yeah. the same rule. Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I, 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 I drop my daughter off at preschool, and it's just like a murderer's row. That's like more pressure than sitting and having a conversation at the comics table downstairs it, it's just like kids just going are you an adult yeah are you a man what class are you in and i'm like god <laughs> damn they are yeah. they are vicious i but does it it can't as a comic yeah it shouldn't it can't bother you anymore right it doesn't but it's just like i have to avoid every instinct that i have which is to come back at the kid i go okay <laughs> like okay the kid's I'm bigger than you little Queer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't Your say that. Your mom's a lesbian. You have no dad. <laughs> you were born in a f- dead tube. You were born in a loveless marriage. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun with your day. It's yeah. never going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> when this country splits, you'll be on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I, that, That's my instinct. No. But, I, but I can't do it. I don't want to... I, I don't want to have that talk with the teachers. I get so nervous when... I, like, when... When I, I just did my, the first ever like parent teacher conference. She's four. I, yeah. I'm, I'm going in just see the teachers and so, to talk about the lesson plans. And right. my God, they're thorough. And I'm more. I'm so nervous talking to her teachers. Why? Because I'm just trying to suppress every com- comedic instinct <laughs> that I have. And just like I, I sat down and we did a we did a meeting in one of the preschool rooms. Yeah. And like the chairs are for preschool kids, and I sit and the yeah. it's perfect. Right. It fits me perfect. And I go, "Oh, you got you 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 got my chair. Thank you." <laughs> and they just stone face looked at me. I'm like, "Oh, come on, guys, that was a light icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Makes the monotony." And then of course I tried to follow it up like, "Oh, this is great. My legs don't dangle. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing." Yeah. And I but now it's like so I have that comedic instinct of like I have to win them over. Right. So I'm I want to keep going, and then my <laughs> wife is like squeezing my wrist like. No, stop with the just stop. Be a dad. Don't be a comedian right now. And your wife is mm-hmm. not a little person. Correct. That's, and so you know I'm good at this job, Robert. You're, yeah. I'm funny as a f- good looking guy. I'm a good looking guy. I got a nice tall Ch- Chinese wife. It's great. Yeah, and, and Man, I stuttered when I said Chinese, so it sounded like I was doing an accent. Like ta 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 Chinese. Like yes. oh god. Like you're being racist. Fuck. Sorry. Can we edit that so it sounds like he's being I have a ta 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 wife. That's Japanese. Um, let me ask you a question. <laughs> you, I'm racist. <laughs> you learn the difference. Let me ask you a question. You got a, um, but your child mm-hmm. is a little person. She's a little person too. Yep. Now, how, when? Okay. So, and I, you don't have to. You, you can tell me to go f- myself. No, no, no. This is good. But I remember when we were having my kid. Mm-hmm. You know, I said to my wife, "If it has anything wrong with it, like a mm-hmm. hair lip, kill it." <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I. <laughs> 
I'm kidding. We will <laughs> throw it out. See the movie Spartan 300? <laughs> Toss it over a hill. Vacuum. No, no. But, but it is like, look, when you have a child, it's like, yeah. whatever. You have to, there's that moment where you find out, okay, if it has any defects or anything, yeah, 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 and you yeah, have yeah. to make a decision. Yeah. You have to make a decision. Yeah. And not that dwarfism is a defect, mm -hmm. but you know the life she's going to have to go through. You know the yes. stuff she's going to have to deal with. Yes. And it, and was there a point for us? It was like, hey, man, whatever the fuck happens, mentally retarded, mentally handicapped, mm -hmm. whatever, a defect, we're in. Okay. We're in. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. Were you, was there a moment where you, do you want to, do you care? Do you care at all? Or are you like, I want her to be yeah. like her mom? Okay. So this, we're, we're, we're getting, we had some fun jokes. This will get kind of yeah, serious I want, for, yeah. a, for a second. Okay. Uh, So there was a time when we were thinking about having kids, which I, I was really struggling with like, well, what if she's a little person? Yeah. Because I know that any complications struggles problems surgeries whatever that she would have to go through because of dwarfism mm -hmm. it's not like i can look at my wife and be like look what you did like i can't like, i can't do that you should do that <laughs> you should still do that you did this you did this like it, that that's me that's coming from me so i struggle and then when i and then when we found out that she was a little person yeah. that was confirming to me like oh god like like one day she's she's gonna have something happen and she and she's gonna look at me and be like, "You you fucking did this to me, yeah. and it's gonna wreck me." But then, uh, my wife t pull, pulled me out of it, and and I got pretty depressed for a while because of this. And and it was like, because we both were like, "Yes, we have to ha have the kid." Like, she, I'm proof that you could be a little person and have a good life and successful and fine. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we knew that we would have the child, of course, but then it, it was just that depression and my wife sucked me out of it. She but then she <laughs> hey, hey, I told you the first 10 minutes, dude. Right. Now we're demonetized. Now we're demonetized. No, what the fuck? My, my, no, my wife pulled me out of it because she told me, she goes, listen. <laughs> Well, now all I'm thinking about is your wife <laughs> sucking you out of something. <laughs> and you being, uh, you holding on to <laughs> curtains. <laughs> You're one of my favorite people to make laugh. Um, but uh, she pulled me out of it because she told me, she goes, yeah, our daughter's going to be a little person. But yeah. she goes, think about all the little people that have ever been born and all the little people that ever will be born mm -hmm. out of all those dwarves that have always existed and will, and will always exist. She goes, how lucky is our kid that she's got you? Yeah. Like that she's got you that with your knowledge and your experience and your life lessons that you can guide her through this. She goes, like, if I had a little person with an average size dude, she goes, I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. I wouldn't know what she'd be capable of or how much to push her, baby her, whatever. And she goes, but now I got you and you have this knowledge. And that that pulled me out where I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. that's actually really good because I can guide her in a way that. Like my parents were average size, our average size, and uh, oh wait a minute, your parents are all average size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. average, average size is what I am. Yeah. Now I'm trying to come up with a slur for tall people. <laughs> I really am, because like you can, you guys can call me midget. And I'm supposed to get upset, and I'm trying to come up with a slur. How about sky people? <laughs> sky people. I shadow shadow makers. I, <laughs> I called you Reachers for a time. I like Reachers. Reachers. And then like, Shadow Makers is good. Shadow Makers um, is good. A Facebook fan came up with one where I'm like, holy shit, this is so damn funny. What is it? I have to steal this from this face from this Facebook fan. He goes, Oh, you should call tall people biggers. <laughs> 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 That's a great one. And I'm just thinking to myself, uh, like, okay, I will, but I'm going to be very careful when I say it. All right, God I'm gonna damn go, it. I'm going to go real slow. Call me a bigger. <laughs> bigger, please. <laughs> <laughs> bigger, please. Bigger. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 With an A. So, so, so we're friendly. <laughs> wow. That's a good one, dude. Biggers. So, so shout out to that Facebook fan. That's fucking yeah. great. Oh, my God. You should get that shirt. Oh. Cause, cause bigger, just, bigger, please. Yeah. It just says bigger. Bigger, please. Yes. <laughs> what you talking about, bigger? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you my bigger. Yeah. <laughs> See, com comics get it. My non-comedian friends are horrified when I tell them. <laughs> that. Of course, they're horrified. Of course, they're like, "You can't say that." I'm like, "Have you ever said the word bigger in your life?" They go, "Yeah, of course." I go, "Then what's the deal?" Yeah, because <laughs> you it. live in L.A. Yeah, and you have regular L.A. friends. I have regular L.A. friends. 
Yeah, and that's a hard one. Everything's all. Everything's all okay. Make, make sure did that that California California people lost their fucking minds. Well, we have it's um <laughs> it like so that that like parent teacher conference or whatever that I talked about. Yeah, like they gave me a a, a write up. That was like this is like a page long of just how she goes down the slide and how and and what they do and I'm just like you gotta be shit like like we like we remember where like there was no parent teacher the the parent teacher conference was if the kid fucked up if we fucked up parent teacher conference <laughs> I didn't have a fucking parent <laughs> buddy I, I sensitive sorry forgot <laughs> I went to a little league games. I remember we won West Medford beat Hillside for the first time in 10 years. I yeah. made the game winning catch yeah. from left field, Hell slid yeah. in to make it, yeah. got pig piled on, yeah. cried because I have, I don't like being, I hate the pig pile. Of I think the pig pile should, likes be, it. should be banned from everything. Yes. I hate it when they win the World Series and hey. a bunch of, I Greatest moment in your life. Now, like eight people, and you're a kid. Like eight people I'm the weighing one, 112 I'm pounds, 120 pounds, are all, are, are all going to jump on you. It's not going to feel great. I was crying, holding a root beer. <laughs> <laughs> I cried holding a root beer. It's delightful. And nobody there. No, uh, no, not one parent. My mom had to work. God bless her soul. Uh, Love her. And you know, we never had pa- parent teacher conference. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like, and now. Like I I don't know how you are with Max, but it's like, do you ever look back and like think of all the stuff that happened to you as a kid, and you considered it normal? You considered like, yeah, that's just that that that's just how life is. Mm-hmm. And now you're an adult. You have the kid, and I'm like, I can't. Like I I, I have to be involved. I I I want to go to all her things and do the. No, you stuff should be. No, like, I think that I think you should be. I think yeah. you should be involved as much as you can be involved in. A hundred percent. Yeah. You should be at these things and be there for them. And I'll stay home at night. Like this weekend, I was home Sunday night and yeah. Monday. Yeah. And you know, I stayed home. Yeah. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna stay home. I'm Hung- gonna hang out with my kid. Hang out with your kid. My instinct was to go, go out, go fucking hang out, smoke a cigar. Yeah. I was like, nah, I'll stay with my kid, whatever. Yeah. And then, uh, but I do think that. I let him. I let him do shit. Yeah. I don't. I like. I'll let him. <laughs> I think you know. I've said this before. I've let him climb up on the roof. I let him. <laughs> I let him. Like this morning, it was yeah. snowing out. Oh yeah. And of course, it's, I know that he has a little. He has a snowblower. I have a snowblower. A little electric okay. things we got from Greenworks. Shout out sponsorship. I'm an influencer, Bobby K. Give you some free stuff. Um, <laughs> but I woke up this morning. It was it was awesome. I fucking love it. Yeah, because we both lo- loaded up with our shit. Yeah, got our stuff on, and he went and did the. I go go you know go, out do our my, our thing, and then he went and did the neighbors. This these old couple next door. Yeah, he went and did theirs. Then he went across the street and did the lady over there, and then he went over to the other old lady that, and he did all we you know I did it with him, but you know what I mean. He didn't ask for money. One lady gave him cash, gave him fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. I know. I guess he when I was fifty aw- bucks when it snowed, he did it for her before. Yeah. So this is the second time she didn't pay him that time. Oh, okay. And I was just like, I love that my kid mm-hmm. has got the snowblower, the big one. Yeah. I had the little one, and he's just <laughs> fucking rocking, helping neighbors out. That's awesome. Like, like I think that. I'm not sitting there going, you can't use the snowblower. Yeah. You're going to fucking whatever, dude. Let yeah. your kid let your kid fall. Let your kid do some dangerous shit. Mm-hmm. Let him climb a roof. Let him hop a fence. Let him get on a bike. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about why it's great that I have a dwarf kid because I know the limits. Yeah. Like, I, like, because. Stairs. I'll, yeah. <laughs> that's the limits. <laughs> Guys, if you don't laugh, I'm just being fucking mean. No, she, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she climbs the stairs. She has, she has a spelunker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow! Comic spit take. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> that th- this is one of the biggest accomplishments of my life. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I got three autistic kids there, and then none of them got me a napkin. They're just watching <laughs> somebody get up. That's so cool. You have a whole special needs staff. I, I've been there. Fucking <laughs> try. Fair. It's very try, nice. Try getting eye contact. <laughs> But man, if, if if you need to know how many pencils are in a jar, they are on that shit. Oh, they know they can count. Um, this is this is literally a big honor have, have, making you do a spit take. This is right up there with getting a bump mic from a tell. 
it's, uh, it, it, it's, oh, it's yeah, up I'm there, man. Show. Yeah. Well, dude, I think it's great because you had you were so cool with my kid, and all of a sudden I look and you got a kid. Yeah. And you got a chick, and you're married, and you're yeah. living the life, man. Living the life in a small little town, not this, uh, outside of L.A. Yeah. Yeah, just in in Southern California, but outside of L.A., it's a nice little suburb. There's si- there's sidewalks. It's nice. We walk the kid to school every day, and then we and then we take the dog to the dog park every day. Wow, it's a good it's a good life. I get to see dogs running around, and now I'm not scared of big dogs anymore. For a while, I was scared of big dogs. Why? Look at me. Oh, the big dogs. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. Because they could, because they probably look at me and think, wonder if that squeaks. <laughs> 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 so I was scared, but then it, but then I got a pit bull, and uh, now oh, you, you, have, great. you got a body, a dog bodyguard. Yeah, I got a pit bull, so now I go to the dog park with him, and if if, if the husky comes over and starts sniffing me, my fucking pit bull is like, no. Nah, but that, can that's you my handle dude. a pit? I mean, I'm not saying this to be mean. Yeah. Can you? Ha- I mean, listen. He, he doesn't realize that I can't handle him. Okay. He's a giant bicep. Okay. Like if he wanted to, he could drag me. Drag you. Wherever the hell he wanted to Not go. Not for nothing, one of the funniest things I would ever see in my life <laughs> if I saw you being dragged down the street by a fucking huge dog. Oh. I'll, I'll tell you, there was so a... So, it, it happened. <laughs> a version of this happened. So, this this was during the pandemic. Uh, and, of course, it's it's of course it's California, so there's nobody out on the streets, thank God. Oh, God. But, you know, all we... Like, the dog walks are, like, the best part of my day because I, I could take him, go outside. Yeah. And, you know, be the whole part of it. And... One time, I played hockey growing up, but I played uh, roller hockey because California is not a lot of ice. So uh, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the dog on a walk with my roller plates on. Are you mentally ill? <laughs> see, you see where this is going. I don't see where, where it was going. I'm like, yeah, I played hockey. I'm good. I could stop. I'm, I'm doing the thing. I got on the roller blades. I get with the pit bull. The pit bull sees a squirrel. <gasps> I'm in the Iditarod now. Really? <laughs> like, I'm dog mushing. Oh, my he's God. Dra- he's like, ah! <laughs> like, just pulling, just like, so, I'm trying to do all the stops. It's not, it's not fucking pizza, working. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> French fry, pizza, French fry. Like, and it's not working. I'm hungry now. He dragged me all up and down the neighborhood. Thank God no one was there. If they had their phones, I, de- I definitely would have gone viral. One of the funniest things, I used to wait tables. Mm. It was me and Gary Gullman waited tables at this Italian restaurant. La Familia Georgia. Shout out La Familia. Oh, man. You and Gary Goldman together? Yeah. Well, he needed a job because he quit his accounting job, his mm-hmm. golden handcuff, to do stand-up. And he came to me, yeah. and he was like, I need a job. I go, you know, and I knew the guy, mm-hmm. you know, who who owned the Italian restaurant or part of it. He was like, I got him a job. Bring him down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of those guys. And um, <laughs> greatest guy ever. And I told him, I go, you know, so <laughs> me and Gary wait tables in Brookline at this place. And... Lunch was always busy, mm-hmm. and there was this blind lady with her fucking dog, mm-hmm. her blind dog. The dog was blind too. No, the blind person <laughs> okay. dog. You know what I mean? Okay. I was like what are they, the CNI like, dog. Jesus, CNI. That's not how that's supposed to work? <laughs> supposed to help them out? Just two idiots walking into a fucking <laughs> pole all day. <laughs> Going, all you hear is ow, roof, ow, roof, ow, roof, honk, honk. <laughs> and one of them shits their pants. <laughs> Which one? Um. So her, her seeing blind eye lady, dog. seeing eye dog. Okay. So her and this other, she was just a twat. <laughs> she was a blind twat. And by the way, you're allowed to call disabled people twats. Yeah. If they're being twats. Yes. I know plenty of disabled people that are wonderful, amazing, fantastic human beings, and some are fucking twats. twats. Yes. Yeah. It's at, it, 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 yes. at 10 minutes. We're fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was sucked. And I, we'd see her coming. She'd yeah. go up, there was the, the big long picture windows in the front, mm-hmm. and we could see her, and her dumb dog would come first. Oh, God. And we'd fight. Not me, not me. And she'd come in, and the, the manager was Bobby, and he had a, he lost his arm because he was in a chase with the cops. Jeez. I think he robbed a bank or something back in the day, so he lost his arm. <laughs> a blind lady and a one armed man. And he would come in. Sounds like the, a bar joke. He would, <laughs> he, would have his, <laughs> he would have the menus under his armpit. <laughs> yeah. and, and he'd be like, fuck you. Don't fuck around. One of you cocksuckers is getting her. Right? And we'd be like, we hate it. Me, Aldo, Benny, and Gary. This was the funniest restaurant ever. It was great. You, Al, and Gary Goldman. Oh, it was the fun. Aldo greatest. Benny's great. Me oh and Al used God. to take our cocks out under our aprons during lunch, and we go, "Al, B, and pick it up and try <laughs> see who get caught. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we get fired. We'd be murdered for that. Now. Oh yeah. Um, so um, so I remember. <laughs> 
So we uh, we hated it. We just hated it. So I remember <laughs> one day we saw the dog and we're like, yeah. "Fuck, here she comes!" Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lunch this grumpy fucking twatty blind lady and her dumb and her dog would shit and mm-hmm. eh, fuck her. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we saw the dog and then the do- dog saw something and they're not supposed to do this, but it just fucking dragged her. <laughs> we just saw her fucking hand. She's holding on to the fucking dog, and the dog's dragging her by all the windows in the front of the restaurant. Buddy, I fucking hit the floor. And she came. I felt bad when she came in because she was just all road rash. She's like, yeah. hello. She had her dumb fucking gray eyes. Hello. That, and then she's she disheveled. She can't fix herself. She can't see. She can't. She was like, Hats all can filthy. somebody call the, the uh, ambulance? So, we, I mean, do we all we were like, she could hear us. <laughs> fucking idiot. The thing about being a comedian and being in like normal life, yeah, civilian life is is it's so hard to shut off. I'm I'm thinking of jokes and shit all the I, time. I'm not. You're dude, not. Dude, I shut it down. Yeah. Dude, I come home. I yeah. told you this morning. I woke up. I, I I'm like, let's go out. Yeah. And be men. Yeah. Let's get those snowblowers going. Yeah. Get our boots on. Mm-hmm. Shovel and let's go be. Men. I love. Doing, I love being a dad. Oh yeah, that yeah, that with, stuff's great. I like that shit. And when I go, we don't, I shut it down, dude. I don't fucking uh, see now. Like so, this uh, at the school, one of the other dads has knows who I am, and right. is now is always like trying to get you bait me into bits. No, really. And like I'm just like, dude, I'm no, I'm just dro- I'm just dropping off my kid. Yeah. I'm saying hi to the teacher. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. fine. I don't I leave. I don't want to like go into shtick. My wife handles the school shit. Mm-hmm. I go to school. Mm-hmm. I'll do all his stuff, but all like hanging out. Uh, nope. Yeah. Nah, I'm not into it. I don't want to deal with that shit. I, but I, I mean, it's great to me that you have this. You went from this single dude. Yeah. And all of a sudden you get married. You have this kid. Yeah. And she's a little person. Yep. And um, the wife is a bigger. <laughs> and <laughs> still funny, <laughs> but but she's uh, Chinese. So how yeah. much bigger could she be? <laughs> <laughs> Five foot seven, which is <laughs> huge for a Chinese. <laughs> <woman. laughs> she's, she's a bigger, bigger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's the biggest bigger. <laughs> we haven't said anything wrong. We're, we're good. We're gonna say something. We're gonna find us a, a cute slang term for, for Chinese, no. and then we can call that and a bigger. <laughs> um, uh. But we, I mean, okay. And I'm and please, I, I'm I'm fucking naive, bro. No, see, I need to ask you thing. a question. You you have good intention. That's all I care about. If, w- the, if, if the intent is good, I don't care. It's. Fine. I want to know, like, okay. Mm-hmm. Are you nervous when you meet a like a, a beautiful Asian girl comes up to you at a show? Mm-hmm. Are you nervous about that? Like, w- did you ever? Th- did you always think you were going to be with a, a a little person? Yeah, I always. Or did thought, you always yeah. thought you were going to be with? Uh, a- I always thought I was going to be with a little person just right. because, like, so my mom would tell me like you have to be and and this is a tall woman and my mom and my mom would tell me like no you have to be with a dwarf woman. She's beautiful, man. Because. Your wife is beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's my wife. Well, yeah, that one's not my wife. On the top, <laughs> the top, the top right. That's not my wife. Why would you? It's bring a up- head. It's a headshot of like an actress who's got the same name. Why would you bring up? That's not her. <laughs> now she better be good looking. I, 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 I was bringing up that she's a Taekwondo, and that's why. I okay, fine, yes. dude. But you brought up a fucking beautiful Asian woman. <laughs> it was not. And her. I'm like, she's beautiful, and he's like, that's not her. No. <laughs> now you have to show no. me her. Look, look at and that. What if she sucks? Down. <laughs> you met her. You know. She, da- down left. Uh, 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 there's like a the one with photo. the little person. Yes, that <laughs> one's her. You fucking idiot. There oh my go. god, she's beautiful. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. Thank Christ. Thank Thank God she's beautiful. She didn't come out with some one eye. You're like, oh God. She's like, huh? <laughs> Sniff. I'm kick- a I'm a bigger <laughs> Sniff. Taekwondo instructor got kicked too many times in the head. Is she a Taekwondo? Yeah, she was. A taekwondo. My, yeah. my brain stopped. Taekwondo. Why can't I say that? Taekwondo instructor. Oh, well, I'm glad you struck on that word and not bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're getting kicked off. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, we need, they're gonna, someone's gonna figure this game out. Uh-huh. That was not a bigger. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck are we doing? So, uh, uh, 
<laughs> but yeah, she she was a taekwondo instructor for a while. And did you meet her? Where did you meet her? Uh, Joe, San, uh, San Francisco. Um, I had to uh, move to San Francisco. I was burnt out from the road. This is like eight nine years ago. And then someone offered me a morning radio job in San in San Francisco. So I was like, yes, okay, good. I could not hop on a plane every week. Mm. Be you know sleep in my bed every night. Great. So I had to move to San Francisco. Which, um, so I'm doing this radio show, and I didn't know anyone in San Francisco. Yeah. So to make friends in San Francisco, we played a game on the radio show <laughs> called Tinder or Grinder, where every day I'd flip a coin based on when it landed on. I had to go on either a Tinder date or a Grinder date. I'm gonna stop you right here. Yeah. Grinder is gay Tinder. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Dude, Bobby, I'll, I'm what you call a go getter. Are you? Are you buying? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the point of the game. So, uh, and I and I actually did go on one, 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 <laughs> one grinder date. I, I I went on one grinder date. Uh, you did, yeah. Because so, yeah, you fool around. Uh, I I felt obligated to. You did? How I, was it? I, I didn't, but I felt obligated because he treated me real nice. Now I told him, "Hey, I'm not gay. This is a radio bit." Yeah, it was a very large, uh, redheaded man, and his name on the grinder app. I'll never forget. This was Jilly Burr. Bear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. dude, you're fucking dead. Oh. Dude, you fucking hit me up on Grindr, dude. You gotta suck my dick now, dude. Old, what bi- the fuck? old Billy Dick Suck Lips. Old, bi- <laughs> old fucking old. <laughs> old. <laughs> I can't say it. So, all right. Uh, I and I told him it's all for a bit. He goes, ah, let's go out and have a good time. He said he wanted to meet friends. I go, okay. So we went out, and he was very nice. It was yeah. great, and like, I kind of feel for straight single women because when they go on yeah. dates and they don't find the guy sexually attractive at all but then yeah. the guy the, the guy was real nice like you feel obligated like i gotta give you something wow the guy was fucking probably excited yeah you know plus they those guys love the wizard of oz yeah it's like <laughs> that's their dream they love judy garland it's like oh my god are you this, related to the cast member this is the dream <laughs> I- that and you know you take a photo you show all your gay friends yeah i went on a date with a little person you look like a good person you know <laughs> <laughs> You're like he shows up with a lollipop. <laughs> just, can you sing it once, <laughs> just please? What time? Oh, fuck! You kick the dirt. Can you just hold? Yeah. We- <laughs> can you just hold this pot of gold for a second? Just one second. Just one. Th- not too. But yeah, he was great. But then, so we're on the radio, mm-hmm. and we're and and we're talking about the bit Tinder yeah. Grinder, and a listener calls in mm-hmm. and goes, "You guys should try you could do Tender Grinder. You guys should try the app Thrinder." And I'm like, the fuck is that? Throw up. How many apps are there? <laughs> There's so many. Can't you just meet somebody? Go ahead. Yeah. So the app Thrinder. What is that? It's Tinder, but it's for people trying to have threesomes. What the fuck is? Where are we going with this, dude? <laughs> let me weave it. Let me weave a verbal tapestry. You are. You really are. <laughs> so Man, you're sucking dick. <laughs> you're fucking dating girls now. You're having threesomes. So I go on this app. Yeah. And you match. I match with two women, and we're all gonna go on a date together. Okay. And one of the women didn't show up yeah. on the date. And just so just the other woman showed up and we're like, Are we, do we still want to do the date? Yeah, sure. So we sat down and two years of the day of that date, I proposed to that woman. That's your wife? That's my wife. Is she still into women? Yeah. You don't stop. I had to. I had to. Will you call my wife? I didn't know that. <laughs> you can't, I didn't, can't stop being into women. I... Uh, she Buddy. still finds them attractive, yeah. So can I don't know why I'm whispering. I know <laughs> she's, not, she's not here. It's okay. Can, so can you guys still do? Do you guys? If everyone is okay with it, yeah. If, well, I mean, yeah. Well, one of <laughs> yeah. One, well, the times when one's tied to a radiator. <laughs> Help! Shut no, up! It's like it's like you've seen our house. Uh, but yeah, yeah. If, if 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 she wants to, then yes. So you don't find that difficult? Of course, it's difficult. So is it just? Girls, or can yes. you do guys? No guys. No guys. No guys. I can't do that. Now you can't do that. It's because you're a man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah red, I got pubes and everything. Now, now, <laughs> I do have questions. Yeah, fire um, okay, what is this? Tinder parent company, March. Why are you bringing this up? Uh, oh, yeah. Tind- oh, 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 yeah. So uh, Tinder sued Thrinder for like a copyright infringement. So now the app is called Field, F-E-E-L-D. 
So that's okay. the app now. Well, here's how autistic my guy is. Mm -hmm. He did all this in his head and just brought it up. And I'm talking to you having a conversation. <laughs> and then there's this blue highlighted thing. Like, he, hey, and lawsuits. He, <laughs> and I, it's about a lawsuit. <laughs> He's, I mean, if that's not an autistic Jew, I don't know what is. <laughs> Was there a court filing involved? He'll find it. I mean, I mean, it's find not. It. He knows the case not, number. Who cares? He memorized it. We're talking about. We're there's talking the, about chicks. There's His midgets wife. and Asians having threesomes. Yes. He, and he's like, "Where's the legal briefs?" The fuck is wrong with you? Is well, according to Brown versus the Board of Education. Yeah. <laughs> so I listen, man. It. I am mm -hmm. very naive. Sure. I've always liked like. Um, I've never been with a little person, mm -hmm. and I've never, I've always wanted to be. Mm -hmm. um, I think your wife would let you do that now. No, she won't. No? Nah, she's old school Boston. <laughs> she's a party pooper. Should I ask her? Yeah, just be like, yeah. Just like, hey, just say, is it cheating if I'm with a dwarf woman? <sighs> she's going to get mad. <laughs> no, if we're with a dwarf woman. But she's not gonna be. She doesn't want to be with me or anybody. She, she hates it. Let's yeah, just say, hey, I just have a random question. She, I don't I, know. Dawn, can you at least you're on the air? Can you go somewhere where I can ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm here with Brad. Remember Brad Williams from uh, yes. Just for Last? Yes. Okay. Um, little person. Right. I know. I know. Oh, who okay. He is. All right. Yes. Okay. okay. You don't have to. Well, him and his wife. <sighs> Him and his wife, you know, kind of, you know, do some threesomes once in a while, but only with women. And I've never been with a little person woman. And I brought that up to him and he said, well, you should try it. And I go, my wife wouldn't let me. He says, yes, she would. You should ask her. It's a good sign. I think the phone cut out. Dawn? <laughs> Well, there's that answer. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I, th I thought it was going to be fine. She's from Boston. She's not from California. You guys been married how long now? 16 years. 16 known each other years. for 30. Yeah, known each other for 30 years. Yeah. You think at this point she'd be like, ah, go have fun. Nah, dude. Uh, we're old school love. Mm, we're old school that's couple. Sweet, though. Yeah, we're going to, we're gonna, I mean, we're uh, ride or die. Are you going to be that couple that, like, a uh, man and a woman married for 50 years, they died five minutes away from each other? Uh, you, I don't you know. That couple? I mean, I'm gonna definitely cheat on her in a couple of years. <laughs> but I mean, it's up to you, girls. I mean, you gotta be the aggressor. <laughs> I mean, if you force it, I can't fight it. Make me an author. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but, but yeah. I, I know I've always wanted to be with uh, a little person. Mm -hmm. um, I've never, never met. I never met one. And I, and here's the thing too. And this may sound fucking. I don't know. I don't know what it will sound, but. I was like, shit. If I get reject, if I get rejected by a little person, that would hurt. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be like really. If she was like, fuck you, but I can't see uh, it. See, now that now you're talking about how that was my tactic when I was single. Right. It's like whatever hot woman would show me, and I would just tell them, nah, you're not my type. <gasps> you nagged them. Yeah. Wow. Wow, we're getting real close one multiple times. <laughs> Bring up the word. It's it means to uh, you 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 throw a negative comment towards a negative woman. comment. It's and negative. It means the word negative. <laughs> yes. So yes. now it's like a reverse psychology. Oh god, thing. my throat. <laughs> Fucking Christ. so. Yes, that's what it is. But and I can't get canceled with you here. Is that is that the rule? <laughs> Hold on, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> and, Let's and, see if it works. But it didn't. But it did work. Imagine if it did work. Oh my god! Uh, uh, all right. So, like, yeah. Uh, insult neg is to insult or undermine somebody yeah. that believes. Yeah. Dismiss, uh, sexual advances. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I get you. Yeah. yeah. So you do that. Yeah. Well, that was, yeah. Back when I was single, that was my the main tactic was to just be like, um, I'm just not interested. And they wanted you then. Yeah. So that's the whole thing, like to be rejected by a little person. Uh. Uh. But no, I get it, man. Now, now, have you have have you ever seen a, a female little person that you found attractive? Yeah. Oh, a lot. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I just found out that like the number one girl on OnlyFans is a dwarf. Because, wow. like, all the fans, like, whenever there's a dwarf story, they, they send it to me. Mm -hmm. I know what's going on in my world, whether I'm t tuned in or not. And and then I looked her up, and she made $24 million last yeah, year. Yeah, see, I, I, see, she's out of my league. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? $24 million. Mm, Yeah. What the hell? <sighs> it's a lot of money. I put some photos on OnlyFans <laughs> for 10 <laughs> Put some on <money. laughs> 
Do you? I'll put up some feet pics. Why not? <laughs> feet <picks. laughs> I got I, I, I got disgusting Hobbit feet. Someone will be into it. I'll put up some bubble butt pics. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Um. I, 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 I got a great ass. Well, yeah. I you know the I don't want to be I don't want to be hack about it or I don't want to sure. I really don't want to insult you and mm-hmm. I just I don't mind into that. We've known each other for a long time, but yeah. I do have questions. Like I do, like like there's different there's different forms of dwarfism of dwarfism. Yeah. So dwarf. what are the yeah. what are the what are the levels of it? What's, ah, okay. What, what's the stage? So, like what so, what so am like, I looking at? So it's a genetic mutation. So I'm an X Man. Uh, which is no. Nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you, just went, you just went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you shrunk. Yeah. I, I you get sh- like superpowers. I got. You know. <laughs> but uh, uh, so the most common type of dwarfism. There's there's over a hundred types. Really? Yeah. So there's I didn't know it, that. yeah. So the most common type is the type that I have. It's called achondroplasia, and that is categorized by a large head. Uh, small limbs, average size torso, and uh, the medical term is prominent buttocks. <laughs> right. And wha- <laughs> I just love reading that whenever I do. And okay, so is that from where is that from? How does this happen? So that's a recessive gene. Uh, uh, so we don't know if it was on my dad's side or my mom's side because we can't find any little people in 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 my family. Oh, like we can't. Wow, it's crazy. Like we look back, there's, we don't find any. So, but it was there somewhere. And it popped up, and hey. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so that's why, like, when I sit down, we're making eye contact. People yeah. assume sometimes, like, oh, you're going to need a booster seat. Huh. Whenever I go to the fucking barber, they're like, do you need a, need a booster chair? Like, they're yeah. so nervous when they ask. They're just yeah. like, do you need a booster? I'm just like, no. And I sit <laughs> down, it's fine. Right. So, yeah, average size torso. And that's why, like, I don't sit on phone books to drive. I just have uh, pedal extenders. So, like, they're little pedals that attach onto a pedal. And then, so it just makes the pedal. So longer. the pedal's longer. Yeah. yeah See, so yeah. but now if you're gonna rent the car, I don't, I don't rent cars. You don't. You can't. No. Nah. So there's things you can't do. Yeah, because like, if I rent a car, I gotta bring the pedals with me. I gotta have a whole like tool kit, install them in the rental car. And I'm just like, ah, I'll just Uber. It, there's no. There's well, gotta be technology that fix that. You you think it'd be like something real quick? Yeah, like, like a shoe <laughs> <laughs> with a block on it. Yeah, you just bring a block shoe. <laughs> Like a pedal shoe, <laughs> dude. There's one time I gar- I hundred percent guarantee you, mm-hmm. there is a little person shoe that shoots down four challenging you never realize little people have. Okay, let's go through this. Oh God. Okay, ready. Fourteen. Oh yeah. Fourteen. Okay, let's go through this. All right. Uh, door handles usually are too high. Is that true? Not for me, but right. there are some little people where that's true. But ATMs for me, aren't always accessible. That is true. Really? Yeah. That yeah. Thankfully, all the banking is done like via phone now, so we're fine. So if you go to an ATM, you you can't hide your password. <laughs> it's just open. I'm just like sky hooking it. <laughs> <You're> g- <laughs> Five, two, three. Everyone just sees it. It's fine. Wow. Uh, car airbags can be dangerous. Yeah, those wow. can be deadly. Why? Because it hits the. Well, because my arms are small, so I'm really close to the steering wheel. Right. So if, <laughs> dude, if I get hit and the airbag goes off, I pop the airbag in my car. Because if I get hit and that airbag goes off, I'm flying through the fucking rear window. You popped. Yeah. Like it's just gonna- I mean, I'm going to say that's terrible, but <laughs> if I ever saw that in life, I would laugh for 75 days. <laughs> just, I, I'm surprised I haven't seen I that. I <laughs> <You're> so-, <laughs> so you popped it with a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got a mechanic to whatever do Because it, if but, you yeah. might get killed if that yeah. goes, all right, well, that's interesting. Shit, Find- shit hits you. you fly finding out. shoes can be challenging. Yeah. How? Why? Well, like, all right. So it's not that, like... Finding shoes now. I've got a like a size four, so there's still like kind of cool size shoes four, that what? are in uh, men's. Men's. Okay. So yeah, so there's. I still got like some good shoes that are, but like there are some little people that have really short, wide feet. Uh-huh. So like kid shoes don't really work for them. Right. Uh. So yeah, for them, for them, it's difficult. For me, I'm okay, but yeah. but but my Jordans are like half price. What are you going on? You got Kizix? <laughs> no, these no these Skechers. Oh, Skechers. I'm yeah. Like Skech. Slippins, slip-ins. Uh, Skechers, uh, Kizix, too. Kizix. They come. They, they come out of Utah. I've I've been to the Kizix factory. I wanted to go. F- God damn it! I yeah, want to go there. Salt, I love that. Salt, Salt Lake City. They're a great shoe company. Great. My kid loves them. They you just step right in. They sent me three pairs. They're awesome. Yeah. They're love the best. Them. I love them. I wish all shoes had that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, all right. Bad. So here we all go. Right. What are some other? It's ones? tough being a little person in the LGBTQ community. Why? Now that. I can't. I can't speak to because obviously I'm not 
in the community, but I imagine just your dating pool is smaller and smaller and smaller. Like, you smaller. know what I mean? What's up? Hey, smaller. What's up? <laughs> smaller, smaller, hey. smaller. <laughs> uh, all right. Sex might require modification. All right. That's not an issue. <laughs> well, I, let me ask you. All right. Stop right there before you go. There's, there's, no, there, there, there's no like like pulley system I have to construct. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You need a 3D printed event. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what it is. It's like yeah. I have to hop in one of those like, jo- like those Johnny jump ups. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> fucking baby thing where your kids jump it up and down. Yeah, you got a regular size piece. Yeah, is it a good piece? piece? A big piece? I think it's a good piece. Yeah, and then, uh, but then here's the good part. Yeah, I think it's a regular size piece. On me though, it looks fucking huge. <laughs> like on like we, we when you see it on me you're like, "Damn, like Brad's packing." It's like, "No, it's fine. It's regular. There's nothing special about it." But then on me like if you put my piece on a black guy, it's not looking good. It maybe <laughs> sex might require modifications for women. Is it harder to get in there on a girl? No, now? like I've been with dwarf women, I've been with average sized women. What do you like better? No preference. No. Yeah. Is there anything with dwarf women that might um, yeah, because some people are like, oh, does you have like a shallow type pussy? It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't. What is, I, I, don't, I don't ask them. I don't compare. Like it's it, right. it, it, it it fits. It feels good. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. Um, what does it say? What did that say? Uh, it says uh, because it, of many forms of dwarfism, dwarfism can result in inflexible or malformed hits, ah, spinal hips, stenosis, yeah. or shorter arms. Uh, yeah, that might be it. Okay, that yeah, that would do it. Yeah, uh, my 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 hips are okay, but for some for some little people, yeah, they got problems. So and that is another form of yeah. There's like probably diastrophic dwarfism. So you that know be, all of them? Not all of them. But I know like five. What is the what is smaller than you? Smaller than me? Uh, primordial is the smart the small the smallest I know. What is that? Uh, primordial dwarfism. They usually don't even live past the age of like twelve or something. But they they just look like. Uh, Break, break, type in primordial dwarfism. It's tough to describe, and I, I, I don't want to, like, I want to go for the joke. That's the comedic instinct, but I also know, like, yeah, they're human beings. I don't want to. Yeah, you don't have to go for the joke all the time. Yeah, they, yeah. they just look like. I mean, they're very small. They look like babies. Like they look like they're, you know, they get they get older. Well, you're 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 really fast with the legal briefs, but not pr- fucking primordial dwarfism. I yell at him every week. I stop yelling at him. <laughs> He's terrible. I mean, you said bring. Oh my God! What the? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> What's well, not a manchichi? <laughs> yeah, they will live twelve years. <laughs> Fuck, it's like a it's like a shih tzu. <laughs> it's like that's like going. <laughs> Type in primordial dwarfism and then yeah. just do an image search and you'll see. He's an idiot. I yeah. mean, this guy is literally all three of these are geniuses at two things. <laughs> How are they still employed by you? I love them. I love them all. Oh well, you know. Okay. But here you go. <clears throat> but then she's like twenty. So she's twenty. I I think. And that's the way to talk like this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the speaky little voice. Hi, yeah. mom. Yeah, the yeah, because like everything's just smaller. So yeah, yeah. Primordial dwarfism. I've seen some very. Oh yeah. my god! Is that a? That's not real. No, that's real. That's not real. That's a doll he bought nope. at Toys R Us. No, that's a, in nineteen ninety eight. That's a human <gasps> being. That's not a human being. Yeah, she's got to be about. She's so cute. She might, she might be like. Four or five. Why is he holding her like that? I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> Put her in a papoose or something. <laughs> Helps get her legs strong. Ah uh, man, she's Hold adorable. Her up yeah, she's so cute though. Yeah, and oh, then and, and and then the the photo we're looking at on top of that ginger. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but that's a wig. They don't. Their hair dies. She's thirty seven in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's got to be like the smallest form of dwarfism yeah. that I that I know of. There might right. be others that are smaller. But so sex is regular for me, yeah. yeah. Sex is regular, and then um, I mean that would suck if you know what I mean. If you had little tiny, if you know little dinks, oh yeah, that would blow. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Ah, oh, if you had a little, t- <laughs> there's got to be a this was there's got to be one out. There's got to be a little person out there that their dick is just micro. Yeah, and the, there, there's such thing as a micro penis. They're out there, sure. So you know someone. Play the genetic hand. Here's something right here. Workplace discrimination is rampant. Have oh you, yeah, yeah. Have you have you been in comedy and and been offended and mad and sad because of us? No, because I always know comedians are coming like from a place of 
the like the intent is always to to make laugh like right. like to make a joke. Yeah, that's the intent. When in when the intent is to literally like oh the only reason why you said what you said is to cause pain in another, in another human being. Yeah, like that's when it's like yeah come on man like why yeah like what did you think was gonna happen yeah so that that like like some of my favorite dwarf jokes are from non dwarf comics. Ra- Ralphie May had some great ones. Yeah. Ralphie May, oh my God! He had some good fat ones too. Yeah, <laughs> he he has both covered. Oh my God! Well, okay, tell me a joke. Tell me. Uh, uh, Ralphie would be like, "They want to be called dwarves. Dwar- you, no, you can't be called a dwarf unless you are in possession of a battle axe," <laughs> which I always loved. He's a, uh, <laughs> dude, Ra- dude, Ralphie May mm-hmm. would find out when I was on the road. He would find out where I was. He would call the radio station because he knew that I'd be there. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they would just, it would always happen. I'd be on the radio talking to the DJ and then we go, um, Ralphie Mays on the phone. And I go, I know what he's going to do. And he, and, he, and, he, and he got on the phone. All right, Ralphie, you're here. You're on with, you know, you know Craig and Fag in the morning or whatever. And then uh, Brad, and then Brad Williams, he go, let me tell you, Brad Williams coming to your city. This midget is slinging dick all over Indianapolis. This guy's got a piece. If he falls down, his, his head do not hit the floor, Jack. And he would just, oh, my God. He, he, he would just talk up my dick. Yeah. And then I get laid that weekend. You got a big dick. Yeah. You got a big dick, dude. It's I fine. asked you if that it's a dick. average. It's fine. What size is it? I don't know. Do you measure? Yep. Six. Okay, cool. We're like dick twins. All right, great. Six. Nice. Six. Done and done. So so you're the same size as a little person. You can go to bed happy. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurt. I don't know why you're gonna fucking come down on me. Not all countries recognize their needs. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, oh, Cause like America is good because we got like the Americans with Disabilities Act and like stuff like that. When you go to We're... Ireland, they're scared of you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's real, mother. Oh, Look at him; he's out there right now with a shillelagh. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I thought I thought it was just a legend. <laughs> it's not. Come and help our football team win yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> but like sometimes I do stand up in other countries, and then I go there, and I'm like, oh, like they don't have the urinal that's down there oh. for like you know for me and for right. your kids or whatever and then uh yeah just some things aren't as easy like i'll go and like some uh uh they'll be like sh- shower heads are a son of a bitch i hate shower heads because it's way it's Jesus way up Christ. so i check into a hotel I, I get in the shower to take a shower before the show or whatever and then the shower head is like pointed straight and i'm just looking at this some bitch like oh my god how am i gonna do this what do you do in that situation uh you gotta call down front Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have too much pride, and I like I'll grab a hanger from the closet and fix it, and I'll like hop, hop on the side. I already know how I'm gonna die, Robert Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die trying to fix a fucking shower head, <laughs> hit a puddle that the maid didn't wipe up, and just whoo, and just fly up in the air and land in the bathtub. And uh, when that when that happens, everybody post uh, your jokes. <laughs> it's fine. Have you? Then this is gene therapy could eliminate little people altogether. Yeah, th- that's the rumor. Uh, the rumor is that we can identify the dwarf gene, or at least the one that causes it, um, achondroplasia, which is uh, my type of dwarfism. How would you feel if someday there was no dwarf people born? Like there was just we, it was out, and the, you were See, that's one of thing. the last. Yeah, I, th- it's a great movie idea. <laughs> La- the last of the little people. The last. The last of the dwarves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the spells they stopped working. <laughs> no, but uh, that I mean that'd be a great movie idea. Yeah. If you were the, you and your if you and your friends were the last little people. The, la- the last generation, because now there's even pills that you can take uh, 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 as a child, and we're actually having this conversation right now with my daughter, to where it's like there's pills they can take that can. Uh, uh, not make them not a little person because you'll always have certain body modifications that are different, but like she'll get a few inches taller by by taking these pills. Um, and then there's brutal surgeries that are horrible that 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 can make you taller. Literally, they put braces on your legs and your, your arms, longer. and yeah, and they break the bone every day. You have to turn a little crank, and it separates the bone by like two millimeters every day, and then the bone uh, grows back overnight. Uh, it's extremely painful. It's not a. I'm, I'm not a fan of that one. But uh, if I like, if they found a way to just eliminate dwarfism, okay, I'm fine. I, like I'm personally, I'm fine with it. I'm not that guy that said like there has to be more of me. Like no, it's fine. It's for some people, it's very difficult. For some people, there's uh, the, the world is not built for us. So it's 
it can be very hard. So if they can make it so someone doesn't have dwarfism, they can be of average height. Okay. What does the word midget come from? What is it? And, and that's no. like a terrible word. Nobody likes yeah. using that new word, right? Yeah. Where does that? Where, why is that word so bad? And where did it come from? Like I, you know why certain words are bad? Sure, like, right? Yeah, like, like and you learn the history of certain slurs. Like I remember that there was that one episode of Louis where they went into the history of uh, the F word for gay people. Where I'm like, oh shit! Like that's what that means. Yeah. Like the 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 sticks that weren't good enough to burn. Mm. Holy shit! Like right. that's awful. Yeah. But I think I think the word midget. And you have to look this up, which will take them about thirty five years. I know. Uh, I, I, I think the word midget yeah. was a term that was invented uh, by P. T. Barnum, and to describe like Tom Thumb. So I think that's why it has sort of derogatory because it like comes from. Sure. Like, right here. Read that out loud. There it is. Read that into the microphone. P.T. Barnum. Move the fucking P.T. Barnum. <laughs> I love that I love that my guests are yelling at you, Danny. Yes. P.T. Barnum indirectly. No, you don't read it. You're the guest. Oh, why? I know I, the words. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> they don't know them. P.T. Barnum indirectly helped popularize the term midget when he began featuring General Tom Thumb on uh, Commodore, <laughs> Commodore Nut. <laughs> wow. Commodore Nut in his circus. Midget became linked with referring to short people put on public display for curiosity and sport. The end sport is the term that terrifies me. Why? You know they used to... <laughs> What's the sport? Oh, they used to... Oh, you got to, oh, you got to yourself a good fighting dwarf right there. <laughs> oh, that'd be good sport. Now, when you... Like, are you... Like, when you go out... I mean, Brad, I yeah. don't know. Like, these are all stupid questions That's I'm not, asking no, you, but... Not stupid are you Are you tough? Like, can you fight? Like I can't fight. My wife taught... Taekwondo instructor. I know she, she can, can fight. fight. She's a bigger. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, but like, like, I don't bring up two dwarf tossing. <laughs> this, this guy's like a morning zoo show, Danny. <laughs> cowbell, cowbell, cowbell. Point, point, point. Yeah, that's like. <laughs> That's like if I had a black guest and you brought up like people hosing them down in the thirties. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it's. Just <laughs> had a fucking some blonde chick throwing a little guy into a yeah. wall of Velcro. Oh, it's rough, man. I mean, but I'm serious. Like, mm -hmm. you, like when you look, I when I go out with my family, when I go yeah. out, like I always get nervous. Like if something happens. Mm -hmm. But I know, you know, look, I'll try to, I'll try, I can, I can handle myself a little bit. I'm not sure. a tough guy, but you know, and I'm sitting there going, okay, if you go with your wife and somebody disrespects your wife, I know yeah. your wife can yeah. handle it, but it, what, where, like, what does that make you nervous? So here's one thing I've discovered. A, I wrestled in high school, so I can, I can hold my own a little bit, but what I've discovered is that if you're a little guy yeah. who looks like me and you have just supreme confidence, and you're like walking up to the biggest guy you see and be like, I'll fucking kill you. I will fucking wreck. Like, they will back down. They're like, holy shit, he knows something I don't. Right. Like, they, like, pe like people get scared. Don't forget your ball high, too. Yeah. <laughs> Use them things like a speed bag. Right. <laughs> so, so, so have you been bullied? Have you been beat up? Yeah. Have, like, people fucked you like that? Yeah. Like, but like, like back, like back when I was in elementary school. What did you do? Oh, so here's the cool part. So my dad knew that I would be bullied because he's like, you know, he's a tall person and he knew that I'd be bullied. So uh, he and I would write comebacks together so that when I went to school and some kid would make fun of me, I would have a comeback. I'd have a joke, like roast joke style. And then like it became known around the school very quickly. Do not fuck with Brad. Right. Because he, he'll, he'll, he'll make you cry. Your dad was Jeff Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rose Master General. Uh, yeah, so I've been my, doing that with my kid recently. Yeah, because I got my kid in jujitsu, and he's. Uh, but I was like, this just. I I've been kind of on the DL telling him shit because his mom doesn't want me to do. It, but I'm like, mm -hmm. I had a story the other day. I was so proud of my kid, man. That's awesome. He was at school, mm -hmm. and this he kept telling me that these kids. Are threatening to jump him. This gang of kids is okay. going to jump him. I'm like, well, what kids? And he's like, those kids over there. There's like four, four kids, mm -hmm. four or five kids. And I go, you want to go say something to him? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, 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 don't. I say nothing. I go, Max, let's just go. I'll go over. I'm not gonna. I'll just, he goes, no, no, no. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. So he gets in trouble at school. We get a call from the principal. He comes home, mm -hmm. and he, I'm like, what happened? He goes, okay, I'm gonna tell you. 
And um, he goes, I'm in school. I'm in the room recess. And those kids who are going to jump me, mm-hmm. we're all standing there. Mm-hmm. And these other kids and Izzy and all these. And I, I was, I just, I wanted to get it over with, Dad. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to wait. I was sick of it. It was freaking me out. I just wanted to get it over with. I go, what'd you do? He goes, I went, you guys, fuck you. <laughs> Let's go. And one kid came at me and I pushed him down. The other kid came at me and pushed him down. Then they all got in my face. And then the teacher broke it up. And I was like, what do you want? <laughs> like, what do you, uh, any oh, way you want to go. You give me goosebumps as a parent. I'm any like, oh, that's want, so good. Any way you want to go, dude. Yeah. And his mom was like, no, you have. I'm like, listen. That's this like, is to get it over with. Yeah, is the key. It's like fuck. I just not, wanted it, not be afraid of it. Yeah, right? he 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 didn't want to like he did he didn't want to uh, uh ma- like cause malice to the kid. He's just like let's just fuck, let's, let's go. Let's beat me this. up, jump me, motherfuckers. Yeah, I that, love it. Yeah, and you your dad gave you gave like, you that ability to verbal ammo, verbal ammo to yeah. deal with it. What a mm-hmm. fucking is your dad still around? No, we lost him two years ago. Uh, but one thing I tell people is that it, it's like if if you ever watch uh, Inside the Actor Studio with Mike Myers, there the episode with Mike Myers, uh, they ask him all the questions at the end, and they go, "If God exists, if, if heaven exists, what do you want God to say when 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 you get there?" Hmm. And Mike Myers says, "I want God to say he saw it because he lost his dad very young, so his dad didn't see all of his success, hmm. and you know, uh, but my dad saw it." He saw he saw specials. He met all his grandkids, you know. Like he he saw me and do my thing. He saw my sister make partner at her accounting firm. My sister's doing really really, really well. He saw it, you know. Yeah, that's great. Death sucks, obviously. Yeah. But if you have to go and but knowing that your family's gonna be okay. Yeah. And, and now as a and now as a father, I'd be like, yeah, that would give me peace. If like as I'm going out, I'm like, okay, kids fine. Yeah. Cool, I'm good. He saw it. Yeah, he saw it. So that's the part I always say. Like his his like here's how much death sucks. My dad had the most idyllic death ever in his home. He sur- died getting blown sur- by an Asian <laughs> massage lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe we have different <laughs> <laughs> He died in the house. Surrounded by his family. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that too. Know, that's a good one. Just, uh, his, that's a, that's also a good way to go. His fa- <laughs> his favorite music was playing. Right. Like, okay. It's just you know. Mine is bong dong gong ding dong dong bong bong ding dong boom ding dong. You can get rigor mortis in your dick before you die. Uh, I want to go tonight. Uh, if I was a millionaire, I would get these three jerked off every Tuesday. <laughs> As soon as we were done here, we'd go to a fucking place and just get all this. I would just love to see Danny go. You just want to record their faces when they hit it? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the O face. Delightful. So he passed away, and mm-hmm. but he saw everything, which is yeah. great. That's great. Yeah. And now you got this new special, mm-hmm. and it's called Starfish Stand-Up Comedy Special. Yeah. Why Starfish? Is Why it about your asshole? <laughs> the, Limp Biscuit screwed me up because uh, they have an album called Chocolate Starfish and the yeah. Hot Dog Flavored Water. It's it, it's Starfish because that's the move I do when my wife is like, uh, "You sleep on the couch tonight," and I'm like, "That's a punishment." So I go full Starfish on the couch <laughs> and just like, "Yeah, it's fine." And uh, so I called it that, and okay. then. People start bringing up the Limp Biscuit album. Like, is that your asshole? I'm like, damn it. I did not think about this. Yeah, you really got to think. Yeah, so, yeah, so when you Google dwarf starfish, there's going to be a lot of weird stuff that comes up. Uh-huh. Uh, so the so the special is called Starfish. It's uh, streaming on a website called Veeps, V E E P S dot com. You do not have to subscribe to Veeps. Veeps started off as like a concert website. So you can go and watch like Alicia Keys' concerts there, like, like, like Imagine Dragons. And then they started doing comedy specials. So they got me, they got uh, David Cross. They got uh, Catherine Ryan, uh, Reggie Watts. Like we all, have, we all have comedy specials. Well, it's a very alternative yeah. lineup. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like a little bit of everything. Very alternative. That's yeah, great. you're you're lumped in with them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, so it is. It is because uh, you're. I consider you. Mm-hmm. I consider you. Um, you know. Um, you're a club guy, man. You're you mm-hmm. go up and murder. Thank you. I remember when when we did Montreal. Yeah, and they were like, okay. <laughs> they had they had you close mm-hmm. the first half or the second no the second half. Yeah. So 
on Montreal on the nasty show, yeah, there's two halves. There's a f- yeah. then then you know so Mission you, whoever and- closes that first. I think I was ho- was I hosting? Yeah, you were hosting. It was a uh, so I Brittany think- no uh, Bridget Everett. Bridget Everett. Yeah, who murders destroys. Love she that. had to close the first half. Yeah. And then you closed the second half. Yep. So it was a murderer's... F- I mean, yeah. everybody was murdering, but then she would kill it, and then you would end it at the end to a standing O yeah. every fucking time. Yeah. it was That That was one... That weekend, that was a really cool run because I would get a standing ovation and being surrounded by, like, really great comics mm-hmm. that, I, that I respect yeah. to have... Because we do this on the road, it's a very like lonely thing. It's just us going out there to whatever city, and we're by and we're by ourselves. But to do it in Montreal, where other comedians are seeing it, going, "Oh, that's what Brad's doing." Yeah. Okay. Like that. Like that felt really good. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. So to have other comics like recognize that that felt that felt fucking amazing. Well, the thing about it too is, I mean, look, it, we're all fucking. You know, we're all, for, you know, these narcissist, sure. inse- insecure yeah, dudes. Yeah, we, we, we walk on stage in front of hundreds, sometimes thousands of people and say, hey, all y'all shut up. Only only my thoughts count right now. Right. And then we get off and like, is that good? Like, they're standing, <laughs> yeah. you fucking idiot. Yeah, we're weird. <laughs> yeah, we're weird motherfuckers. But um, I remember that week, I mean, getting to know you and getting to hang out with you. And mm-hmm. you're just a good guy. Thanks. Man. You're a good guy off stage, which to me, people go, is he funny or is she funny? Good guy, good person. That that's the. F- I want to know that before I give a fuck about how yeah. funny you are. Thank you. You know what I mean. And, and, and I like that. I like knowing that other comics think that I'm a halfway decent human being. Because yeah, we're living in an industry that has a lot of us that aren't that great. No. So to have uh, so to be known as a halfway decent guy and someone that you know my daughter can look at, and be like, yeah, no, dad was cool. Yeah. Like that. That's that. That's what I want. Funny. Funny is great. I, obviously, funny pays the bills, yeah. and but I get that validation from the audience. They they laugh. Awesome. I I'm funny, but uh, you don't have to say that. So that so that means the world to me. Seriously. Are you are you because you you know we always have these ups and downs and shit mm-hmm. in our career, and you get here and then it comes down. You get out here and yeah. and now you got this special out. Yep. You're you're coming back up. You're on a rise. You know. Yeah, we're doing we're doing theaters this year. That's great. Yeah. How, and, and and they're selling. Who <laughs> we're adding shows. We added shows in there's, Dallas, there's that, Sacramento, there's that Tucson. Comic, there's that comic insecurity. Yeah. Right there. There it is. Mm-hmm. You're doing theaters. Yep. They're selling. And yep. you're like, oh my God. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It's crazy how we can't believe I can't believe it. Yeah. People don't understand how how amazed how how like appreciative we are that you guys come and see us live well because we and the vast majority of comedians that get to the level of theaters they were at the level of open mic and at the level of selling no tickets and at the level of the owner like screwing them on a bonus and yeah. like in like the the green room is a broom closet and getting no service and then the hotel is shitty like we've been in the shit and and then you you're there so you slowly watch it grow and now it's like oh no now the theater's all nice you have a rider people People are paying for parking outside. Like they got, they got their babysitter. This is their night out. Like holy shit, this, yeah. is, this is unbelievable. It's crazy. It's, it's wonderful. And I, I know that. Hey, I'm gonna do this theater run this year. Next year, what will happen? I don't know. We might be going big. We might. This might be it. I don't know. But uh, let's look at these theaters again. Show me these theaters. Yeah. Gonna, uh, Brad is going to be at. Uh, you're gonna be at Sacramento Crest Theater. Yeah. You're gonna be there for two nights. No, uh, uh, one night, two one shows. One night, one night, two shows. Balboa the twentieth Theater. San Diego Theater, Balboa Theater, beautiful theater. Yeah, uh, he's gonna be. Uh, that's like that's like corporate. That's a cruise. Okay, that one. Uh, Miami, Florida. Yeah, Tempe, Arizona, for two show. No, two nights. That's the February first and the second. At the Tempe Improv, yeah. Uh, I mean, you got it. Tucson Theater, Fox Theater, in, Bakersfield, uh, California. The, th- the theater at the Ace Hotel. I'm really excited about that one in uh, Lo- in Los Angeles. That's February 10th. Uh, yeah, so many theaters, dude. You're yeah, at the Majestic so we're doing theater in Dallas. Two shows. Two shows. I mean, two shows. Yeah. So and that's when one. you make that money. Yeah. You sell out the first one. Great. But then you've all, you've already rented the theater. And wh- what do you do think? I mean, I know. 
I know you're popular, dude. I know you mm-hmm. have a fan base, but yeah. it seems to be getting bigger and bigger. How is it getting bigger and bigger? Um, uh, honestly, here's the here's the not cool to use thing. the word bigger and bigger. I don't mean to offend. <laughs> you. I apologize. There it goes back. <laughs> Love it. Here, here's the cool part. Is like I'm not. I don't have a TikTok account. I'm an idiot. I don't have a YouTube account. I'm a moron. Uh, well, how but is it getting bigger? People started clipping my clips. Yeah. From past specials, uh, fun size and daddy issues, yeah. and uh, the degenerates, which you were you were degenerate as I, well. Season two, yeah, season two. I was season one. Yeah, well, they paid you. Yeah, everyone says the first one was better. Oh, um, they, so well, then uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but like, uh, uh, so people, financially, it was definitely yeah. better. I mean, they told people us to start, go fuck ourselves. People started to clip my clips and pass them around, and uh, they just kind of caught fire on the internet. Now doing podcasts like this, like clips of me talking on the internet went viral. So yeah, that, it, and it's it, it's great because is I, this a whole new hour? Then 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 the special, yeah, a whole so new hour. This this spe- okay. So the special, yeah, and what they're going to be seeing this year is yes. two different things. Two different things because I recorded the special in July, and then for the next year, I was or next half a year, I was just like throwing everything. How are you writing? Wall. What do you write? Explain this to people. I, I walk. I write on stage. So but, what, are you, what is your process? You're you're yeah. You're, you're off stage. What happens? Funny then, shit happens. I make like, a note in my phone. Give me a thing. Give me a, an example. Okay. So, <laughs> so no, but this interests me because yeah. I, you know I've been in business thirty years, and I want to know how how are you coming up with another hour? Yeah. So like really, it's just life experiences, and that sh- and that happens, and something goes on, and I go, okay, that that was funny. Let me give me a bit. Bring from that up this, stage. What you're doing now okay. that you, that happened? How did how did it work? You need help okay. getting that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got my phone in my pocket just so I could look up notes. Um, sorry, uh, cut this. I out. just looked at you and fucking you're adorable. <laughs> you really are. Just, okay, okay. So, you're a cutie patootie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, Chat GPT. No. Okay. Okay. So he, so he, so here's one. Okay. We were having a we we're having some people over to watch football. Yeah, and the Arizona Cardinals were on. Yeah, and they got that QB, uh, Kyler Murray. Okay, and I forget the announcer, but the announcer goes, and Kyler Murray, at five foot nine, has overcome so much in his life to be here. And I and I just started getting pissed off because I'm like five foot nine, uh-huh. you motherfucker. Yeah, five foot nine, and you're in, you're you're inspiring to people. This is in your head at while this is going. On. Are you yeah. are you talking out loud? Yes. And then yeah. And then my friends are laughing. <laughs> right. And there I'm you like, go. Okay. That's a bit. That's what it is. And then you bring that on stage. You refine it. You right. try it out. the The thing is, if the premise gets the laugh, okay, great. I got something. So I'm constantly just throwing out premises, and then if it works, great. Now we expand. Now we develop. Now we try to do. Now we add punchlines. So you get on stage a lot and work that shit out. Or are you doing it on yeah. the road? Are you out on the road? I'm on the road, dude, a lot. But you it, are, it, dude. it's you're so a road, it, you're a road dog. It's you so and, hard to you turn and down Steve money. Steve Byrne, man. Steve Byrne is another one. Yeah, it's hard I to mean, turn down money because we used to do this I for turn, nothing. I say no. The greatest thing that success has given me, and I yeah. think Jerry Seinfeld said it. Was the ability to say no. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because you raise your value. Well, it's just, I'd like, uh, I'd rather be home. Yeah. You know, I'll come to the cellar and do a few shows on Saturday, but if I got a weekend off and it's like, I'll just stay home. Yeah. Uh, This past New Year's Eve, I had the first New Year's Eve off in 20 years. I mean, how'd it feel? Amazing. Didn't it? We We went to a New Year's Eve party. With normal people. Yes. I've been out, doing stayed 30, up till midnight. 30 fucking years I've been doing this. Yeah. 30 years I've been going to a club for most of that time. Yeah. Monday through fucking Sunday. Yeah. Doing stand up. I was in love and pinpoint focused on stand up. And now I and it, I built a life. Yeah. Why would I not want to <laughs> fucking what am I gonna wait till I retire? Yeah. Like that's no. what like, I see these people like how much money do you need Dude, before if, you fucking enjoy some of these people around you? If I had one year, yeah. like Sebastian Maniscalco or yeah. Burt Kreischer yeah. or uh, Gabriel or whoever, one year like that, yeah, I'm not retired, yeah. but I'm not going back out another 
35 weeks the next well week. we i mean look I'm, I'm i say this and i'm working every day i'm working every <laughs> weekend until fucking june but yeah i always take uh june july and august off as much oh, as but I your can. kids got summer vacation so you want to spend time with him yeah i go up the mountains and hang out do yeah. my shit and, and live life a little bit but very um, important yeah but you are a road dog dude you kill it you're Thank always you, on the fucking road you're always mm-hmm. doing it and uh, you got this new special out. It's yeah. called Starfish. Yes. And it's on Veeps. Veeps. Go, go, go to veeps.com or or How do you spell that? V E E P S. So it's like vice president at an S. Veeps. <laughs> Veeps. Dot com. Yeah. Veeps.com. And com. Get it. How much is the special? Uh, I think it's, what, what was it? Bring up, bring up the price. I, I, I don't want to tell people the wrong number. I think it's, I think it's, is it $20? No, it can't be 20 1999. Yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. Okay, listen, here's the thing too. Mm-hmm. I know everybody, every Tom, Dick, and Harry <laughs> is giving their specials away for free. Mm-hmm. It's a shitty thing. It's a <laughs> crappy thing to do. It really is, man. I know they want the likes, they want the views, yeah. and they want to fill up the rooms and all that mm-hmm. shit. But part of the deal we do is we work our asses off. Yeah. And we write these jokes and we go and we perform them at clubs all over for and you can come see us for 20 25 bucks. But at some point we put all that together and we make yeah. a special and it costs a lot of money mm-hmm. and you're a part of it. You're mm-hmm. investing in it. And the yep. way you invest in it is by purchasing it. Yes. And giving us a $20 think about a $20 bill. That's uh, a two Starbucks coffee. <laughs> That's a fucking sandwich at Panera and a salad. Yeah. It's one lunch, it's one breakfast, it's a couple trips to the coffee store. Yeah. It's a toll to, in New York City. So it's so, a toll. Man. It really is, man. Just go. It's less I, than it, a tank of gas. <laughs> and, and, and they own it, right? Yeah. You own it. Go and buy it. Go to his thing and purchase it yeah. and support live comedy. Support comic specials. I I'm, I get the free shit. Mm-hmm. You can go get my special now free on, on uh, punchup.live. Mm-hmm. But I, I can't tell you all the people that bought it when it was on Louis. Yeah, you guys made it happen. You guys are my fans, and you you made that special possible. Mm-hmm. And that's 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 why I love the fans. And, Thanks for saying that, man. And they'll go buy that, man, because I get it. a lot of people out there. Hey, it's free. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, well, that must be nice to do that, and I get it. But yeah. I still think people, if you give a value to it, you're part of it. Yeah, I, I remember I was listening to Burr's podcast one time, and some listener wrote in and was like, really, a two-drink minimum? And then Burr just went off. He's like, this is an economy here. We're all support. Like, it, it, there, there, there's there, there's rent. There's freaking electric bills. All all the all the wait staff got to get paid. The, the comedians got to get paid. Like, all this Everything has to is happen. taken care of. It's an exchange we make. Yes. And comedy fans get it. Real comedy fans get it, man. Yeah. Hundred percent. I and and uh, you know, and plus he's a little person. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get into heaven. <laughs> You'll when, when they you, ask you at the pearly gates, what 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 did you do on earth? You'd be like, I gave I gave twenty bucks to a little person one time to, to and, and he made me laugh for an hour. <laughs> it's a good exchange. It's good luck. Yeah. Is it exactly? Is it good luck? I'm, I'll put that out there. <laughs> I'll put it out there. Yeah. There it is right there. We have a questions for you, brother. Oh, boy. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Um, all right, all right, all right. Questions. I can't believe you grew up in California. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, OC boy, Orange County. You were in an NBA celebrity game? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, it was very weird. I stole I, I, I stole the opening tip off. It was very it was very funny. I, uh, How? I, <laughs> cause, With a trampoline? Yeah. Cause, well, because, like, so they uh, were doing the opening tip. It was these two, like, six foot eight WNBA players that were, that were going to do the opening tip. And then, and then the ref lowered the ball to, to throw it, and I just ran and grabbed it. That's great. <laughs> and then the game started. But yeah, there, there, there were some cool celebrities in that game. There was, uh, there was uh, Hassan Minaj, Bad Bunny was in that game. Um, uh, it's, 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 sorry, I just remember the comics. Uh, my fellow comedian, Adam Ray was in the game. It was a blast, man. Oh, that's great, man. I love that. Oh, Doc, Doc, Dr. Oz. <laughs> Quavo, Ray oh, Allen. Wow. Yeah, yeah, fun game. Well, here's what I love about you, do. You embrace your life and who you are. Yeah. And I think comics, that what we do. What, I, look, I got my own fuck. I was a fat fuck for a long time, <laughs> which, and then I get skinny, and then I got fat, and it was like... You know, my special, I was 350. I, I, I look at him like I was a different person. Yeah. We all kind of embrace our defects, our Have faults, to. or whatever it is. Yeah, our differences. And, and, con- and that's why, as far as you, the fact that you are out there killing it, 
You got a beautiful wife. Mm-hmm. She can kick the shit out of you if she <laughs> wants to. I love that she knows martial arts. Yeah, I I sleep between a martial arts master and a pit bull. <laughs> I sleep very well. Are you very safe? <laughs> it's fucking. Wild. Um, Bobby. Yeah, we're um, gonna. Switch. Um, Max, what? <laughs> we're gonna do uh questions on the Patreon now, right? Sure. Yeah. They're gonna that we're gonna just it's gonna be Patreon only. Not what he wanted to do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So here's the deal, everybody. We got a bunch of questions for you guys. Um, and it is for Patreon, Patreon only. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Let's end the podcast here. Um, and we're gonna go to my tickets. Go to robertkellylive.com. Uh, I just added first of all, I want to thank everybody that came out to uh Saratoga Spring. What a show. Me and Joe Russell murdered all oh, that's weekend. fun. Yeah, we had a blast. Uh Chicago, but this isn't gonna be out. This is guys. This is this week. This is gonna be out Sunday. Sunday, but I'm going to be back Sunday from all those places, you fucking <laughs> moron. Comedy connection. I mean, can, hang on one second. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm furious with him right now. <laughs> I mean, these guys are supposed to be smarter than me. I was in juvie hall. He was in school. He looks like that. <laughs> and then he questions me. Yep. I mean, it's literally just a date. It says Sunday. <laughs> East Providence, Rhode Island, I'm telling you right now, all sold out. All oh. four shows are sold out. We added a Sunday show. Hell yeah, buddy. So Sunday show is added, uh, Rhode Island. So if you're coming, get the tickets. We're going to sell out Sunday, too. Uh, Point Pleasant, Uncle Vinny's on... F- Am I just there on one night? Friday? So, two no, two so, nights, 9th and 10th. Th- I'm going to cancel both of those. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, Friday and Saturday. I don't know if I want to do Friday. Com- Comics Roadhouse. That's a great. Gr- oh yeah, I'll be up. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. Uncasville. And then, uh, of course, Side Splitters in Tampa. Great club. My great. I mean, one of my favorites. Poughkeepsie. I'm going back up there for those guys. Sweet guys. Uh, and that is a like an hour away from my house. I love that. Hell yeah. Uh, and then Houston, Texas. I didn't know about that. I'm going to Houston. <laughs> I'm going to Austin. But my comedy mothership. Yeah, well, baby. That's already going to be sold out. It's probably sold out now. <laughs> I know, I love it. Joe, yeah. I mean, I gotta give it up for Joe. Drew, he Joe made a Rogan, beast really, of a club, man, made a beast of a club, and then could make a lot of money off of it, Doesn't. and chooses to give back to the yeah. the people and the comic community. One of the most fun I mean, green rooms you'll ever be in. Fun green room, yeah. and everybody there were is so awesome. All they the, treat all, all the staff. They treat you fantastic. Yeah. It is a no pressure gig and I, and it's it's awesome. So I'm so glad. All the that. fans are so like they're uh, they get it. Club three three seven Lafayette. I love that motherfucker. You got to check it out. Go to robertkellylive.com and go check out comicwearables.com. Use code word ladybugs. Get YKWD gear. If you wear it, the regs hats up there. Also bone to pick hats up there. Fuck the check spot is up there. <laughs> Make sure you go and check out Brad's special. Uh, it is called Starfish, yes, and it is available at. Right now, Veeps, V-E-P-S dot com. It's $19.99. That's a 20 spot. It's not that much. Support him. Show your love and hit him up wherever you go. And guys, where are you going to be? Uh, you can find me, Max Marcus Comedy, all social media. Max Marcus Comedy. Follow me on Instagram at Danny Braff. And for everything Joe Russell, search The Cheese Show on YouTube. Wow, Joe got a personality. Where did that fucking come from? (laughs) Went from fucking three AI autistic kids to one guy who figured out the fucking algorithm. All right, then let's head and then head over to Patreon and we're gonna we're gonna answer some questions. We're gonna go over to Patreon. We're awesome. gonna answer some questions. If you want to be part of the Patreon, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. We're gonna be answering these questions with Brad. Who knows where it's gonna go? Uh, but that's it for the show. We'll see you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe to the button on YouTube and uh, hit the like button and all that stuff on you know what, dude, on any other all the other bullshit. We'll see you guys next week on You Know What Dude Podcast. been listening to the ykwd podcast thanks for listening now go back to your shitty jobs shitty jobs